Hello. Uh, I'll be swatching my Jane Davenport pastel set that I just got. And uh, I'll be doing this on watercolor paper. You want to GSM. So what I have here are uh, four sets from Jane Davenport's um, pastel series. Um, from her um, Making Faces range. So we have here the uh, Shimmer Pastel. I have the Fishco Tech. Fishco Tech. There. Shimmer Pastels. And also the Make a Splash Shimmer Pastels. So if you look at the packaging, it will see that you will see that it says that you can add a splash of rainbow highlight to your artwork with the Shimmering Pastel. It's called Shimmer Pastels because if you compare it to the other pastel sets that Jane Davenport ha has, you will see that these sets have, uh, I guess, mica powder. So it's glittery, metallic. The effect is a metallic one. Uh, so I'll also be swatching the Mika Splash set. And later on, I will also be opening the two palette pastels. The birthday suit set. Okay, so the, these are basically uh, neutral tones. Neutral tones of the pastels that Jane Davenport has, and also the chilled cake pastels. So this one is more of a cool, bold colors. There are two other sets in this uh, series, but I was only able to buy Birthday Suit and the Chilled set, so this is uh, what I'll be swatching for today. Okay, so let's try the Fishco Tech. Uh, I'll be using just my finger because I am lazy and I don't want to find where my sponges are. Okay, so I, I can't really find the names of the colors, so... Maybe I'll do some research on Google later on. So I'll be swatching them here. here. But um, based on my experience from previous usage of pastels uh, with mica powder, it's best swatched on black paper or black cardstock. So I will also be placing some on this black cardstock. It's just um, plain cardstock from Recollections. Uh, there you go. Then, just gonna wipe my finger on a wipe that I have here on the side. And you move on to the next color. This, um, the first one is a gold color. And now this is a, like a blush color, a light pink color. It looks exactly like eyeshadow, actually. But the packaging says it, it's not for cosmetic use. So if you do want to use it on your face, that's your call. But um, what I can say is uh, when you apply it on white paper, you can't really... You, you can see the shimmer in the color. It's a bit pale. Uh, the colors will really pop out if you're using it on black cardstock. There you go. You can really see the, the pinkish color there. And it does give you a shimmer like all other um, mica infused pastels. We move on to the next color which is like a, a salmon type color. A bit on the orangey there there so if you want to use it when you're highlighting the cheeks of your um, artwork the faces that you draw you can use this Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. There. 
Next is uh, like a violet color. This one lays down highly pigmented on the white paper. Let's see what it looks like on the black cardstock. You can actually see the difference between the two um, papers and the effect that the pastels have depending on the color of the paper. And lastly, you have this like hot pink or fuchsia color. Mm, this feels a little different from the other four. It's like it has a finer uh, texture than the other four. It's also um, a bit more vibrant, I guess, or really pink. Let's see on the black cardstock. It doesn't really pop out that much on the black black cardstock. It's um, more evident on the white paper. See? It does give you... On the camera, it actually looks brighter, but when I'm looking at it, it's not that distinct. Uh, there's a certain angle wherein you will see that it's a bit more pink. Okay, now we move on to the next palette which is make a splash here so take it out from the package when all of her products for the making faces series are next to each other you really think that you're handling makeup looks like makeup Wait. okay so this is make a splash again uh, you have five pretty and vibrant colors. So let's try to swatch it. This is uh, silver. Not exactly sure why they had to separate these um, pastels in like smaller uh, sets. And they have a bigger set for the other non-shimmer pastels there it's pretty silver then we have a green there I think mermaid colors and you have um, this make a splash set so if you're fond of uh, doing some artwork that has mermaids or unicorns. This is something that you may want to consider. And I think maybe if I had used a sponge, it wouldn't be so uneven when I'm putting it on the paper. So for those who want to try the set, use use a sponge don't do what i did don't be lazy go look for your sponges or your um batons is this blue this is vibrant on the white paper not so sure what happens what will happen if i put it on the black paper ah. still see the blue color and it's they're actually quite nice on the black paper. You you really see the shimmer aspect of the palette. Now we go check this violet one. There you see it on my finger. It's I'm not getting a lot of color. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is very nice. Could see the color popping out. Very mermaidy. There. And 
And lastly, another pink. This one's a bit lighter than the previous, than the pink in the previous palette. Also with a different texture. It's not so shimmery as the other ones. It has a finer feel to it. And not a lot coming off. And let's see. It's lighter. It's one of the lightest of all the 10 colors that I have here. It's a... Uh, it's pink and then on the black paper as expected it's not as vibrant as the shimmery metallic ones like the gold or the silver and I have to put a lot for it to have a some sort of effect there okay so that's a comparison white paper metallic oh, black paper you'll see the metallic um, characteristics of the palette so you have make a splash here and the fish, fish protect there so I will be testing the other two palettes but we won't be using the watercolor paper because these bigger sets actually have their own swatch cards included. So let's first open birthday suit. So you will see here that aside from the palette, you have your free swatch card. It has the names of the colors plus an image image on the other side that you can actually use. Um, it, the paper has a glossy feel on this side, and this is a bit more rough, but the tooth is also not that evident. So I would still say it. this is smooth, but this is matte, and this is glossy. Okay, so let's try to swatch. So I'm lining up the colors with the um, palette that we have. doesn't have any distinct smell again it looks exactly like um, it looks exactly like eyeshadow and wait I wonder if we could just use a brush let's see what will happen if we use a brush for swatching okay so let's start from this one bouquet toss let's see oh no, the brush is not doing it, so I'm just going to use my finger again. It feels just like eyeshadow. There. Okay. So, since this is white paper, I am guessing that if this particular one will really come out lightly. But, you will see it has a light pinkish tinge let's see what will happen if we try it on black paper it's a little bit more obvious here okay. so I think I'm just gonna swatch everything on this watch card and give my thoughts later on <music>
okay so if you put them side by side you will see that with just these two palettes you're going to get a wide range of colors that you can blend together that you can use not just in making your portraits or your um, faces images uh, I'm thinking this also has some application if you're doing like botanicals florals or even landscapes the colors here are um, pretty wide already you can do a lot of things with the pastels here and I hope that my little demonstration swatching video is able to give you some thoughts about the Jane Davenport pastel palettes uh, you could find these in a lot of online stores and if you're lucky, you could get some on sale. But definitely, these are items that I would keep in my collection. Uh, I, I, I have a couple of pan pastels. And I guess a lot of people are comparing these two products. And what I can say is that, aside from the obvious, that uh, these sets are a lot smaller and gives you in smaller space a lot of colors to choose from since the pan pastels are you know bigger pans um, the range of colors that you have for the price is more than if you buy the pan pastel sets but of course the amount of pastel soft pastel in each pan pastel product is uh, more compared to these Shane Davenport products. But if you're somebody who would much rather have variety than actual quantity per color, then these sets would um, be best for your purposes. Uh, you can have both if you have. Uh, they have distinct characteristics um, from each other. But I would highly recommend that you buy the Shane Davenport pastels because they're really useful they have a lot of applications and as i go along with my usage of these products i will try to see how well they work with other jane davenport pro products and other brands as well thank you and have a good day